Come on, let's get this day started off right. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chuck McGee and this is I Just Want to Talk. Hey, I want to give you guys um, a few updates on what happened uh, during my surgery and um, what happened during the two weeks that I couldn't talk. And I want to give you guys a little update on my lifestyle change and where I stand with that. But I just want to say thank you to all of you who sent so many awesome messages and so many prayers. And if you guys are new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and then hit that bell icon. Once you hit that bell icon, what that does is once I do a video and once I upload it, YouTube will let you know so you can enjoy watching it. And again, I appreciate you becoming a part of my community. So let's get started with all these updates so I can give them to you and just continue to thank you guys for all that you have done and your messages. And it, it just it's just an amazing community that I have. And it's all because of you guys and because of God. So let's get started. Number one, my surgery uh, went really well. Um, they they took a nodule off of my right vocal cord. Um, that nodule was taking up a third of my esophagus. And during all these doctor visits, what they have found out was that I had um, like a, a, a problem with my esophagus as well, which was caused by um, acid reflux. Um, and, and I'm thinking, how do, my, how do I have acid reflux? I mean, the last six months, all I've done was drink about 120 ounces a day of water. I eat two or three chicken breasts a day, a couple cans of tuna fish a day, some fruits and vegetables. Um, but it is what it is. And we're getting all that work done as we, as we speak. But my esophagus was all messed up along with the nodule. So they removed the nodule and the, the uh, surgery was very successful. Um, I couldn't talk for 10 days and I, and it's, I gotta be honest with you. It's amazing what I experienced, uh, during those 10 days. And maybe I'll do a video on those 10 days on what I experienced. But you know, when you go 10 days without speaking, and obviously I was mouthing things to my wife and daughter and, and I got to give, you know, all kudos to both of them. They took care of me. I mean, like beyond what I deserve. And so I, I just am so blessed, so blessed and unworthy of their love and and uh, and I just appreciate them both um but the things that I thought of and the things I heard and even even I and I'm going to do a video on this even on how I was treated when my wife and I would go and eat at a restaurant I mean you would not believe the looks uh positive or negative that I was receiving because I was mouthing to my wife and it just really made me think about how people who really have it bad are treated in this life of ours. And, and uh, so I will do some videos on that. But the surgery went well. I can speak an hour a day. Next week, it'll be a couple hours a day. And the week after that, I'll be okay. I do have my high uh, tenor back, so I'm really excited about that. It's amazing how a nodule that big can take away. I mean, I lost my whole upper register of my singing voice, and uh, now it's back. So praise Jesus. Um, and I also wanted to give you guys an update uh, on my lifestyle change. Um, I am still doing great. Still got the guns. <laughs> um, but I'm excited. Um, I didn't work out for three weeks. And, um, you know, it was, I needed to. I mean, they told me I couldn't work out. I couldn't get on the treadmill or anything. Actually, today was the first day I got back on the treadmill. I uh, got back on the stair master. I mean, it just was awesome. Worked my butt off. And um, so August 14th is one year and I plan to be down 70 or 80 pounds. I'm down over 50 now. And so I'm really excited, but I plan to just be really ripped up and cut up. So I'm excited about that. But what I want to make clear to all of you guys is I shared this surgery thing with all of you guys because yeah, your prayers are wonderful and I needed those prayers and I'm so grateful but I shared that with you because I wanted to inspire you and uplift you all to let you know that we all go through issues in our lives, but we can make it with God's help. We can make it as long as we just stay focused on the Lord. And I share these lifestyle videos with all of you because of the same reason. You know, it is awesome that I'm losing so much weight. I mean, my clothes, my sweatshirts, everything are just so loose on me. 
And and actually, it's it's really good that I keep those clothes for now because there are days when I, you know, I'm like a roller coaster. I have high and low days and I fight this depression. But I'm always keeping my eyes right on the Lord and straight on the Lord because I know the devil will come at me at all angles. Because once you make the decision to follow the Lord, the devil is going to do everything. And I mean everything he can to destroy it. And, he, and, he, and that's what he wants to do. He wants you to live his way and not God's way. And so I've stayed strong. I've stayed on that. And, and I share these videos with you because I'm excited for myself. But I'm also, truthfully, the real reason is because, again, I want to inspire all of you to make a change. You know, we, we hide our unhappiness so much, whether it's with financial problems, whether it's girlfriend problems, boyfriend problems, husband problems, wife problems, cheating, w alcohol, drugs, whatever it is. I just want to inspire you to take a minute and think about you. Think about, are you happy where you are at today in your life? And if you're not, yes, it's a difficult decision. Breaking it off with someone, stop drinking, stop alcohol or drugs. It is the most difficult thing you can do, but it can be done. If you don't think for a minute that I just don't feel like wanting just to go eat the couch, put some sauce on it, eat the couch. <laughs> I want to so badly, but I like who I'm becoming. God said, "Hey, if you're going to if you're going to, you know, follow me, if you're going to if you're going to, you know, spread my word around to people, you have to live in all ways that I ask you to live." And he said, "You need to lose weight, you need to help, you need to work on your body, make your body right." So, I'm doing that. And so I'm excited about that. And so that's why I share these stories with you, because I want to inspire all of you to make a change in your life. But to end this video, I just want to thank all of you. I think you guys, I just, I'm so lucky to have all of you a part of my community. I'm so lucky to have your prayers, your comments. I deeply, deeply appreciate them. And that's why I always get back to all of you. And again, I'm so unworthy of that. And I can just try every single day to live up to those expectations because I do it for the Lord and that's it, period. I do it for him, praise him, glorify him. Everything is about God. So great um, surgery, no cancer. Uh, the lifestyle change is going well. I'm going to be down 70 or 80 pounds by August 14th. I will do an update on the 14th of this month. I'm excited about that. So stay with this channel, keep subscribing to my channel, spread the word around that we are all about God and we are going to just try to make a difference every single day. And I can only do it with your help. God bless you guys. I love you so very much. Have a great day.